Hello all, in this video we are going to see how to do conditional formatting in Excel sheet. For that I have considered the students, student grades data which has student ID, section, group, points and the letter grade. Now I would like to find out the result of the student, whether the student has passed or failed. For that I am using a simple if condition to see the logic test, to write the logic test. If the logic test is true, this is the value, else this is the value that you have to write, separated by commas. Um, I want to consider my points is less than or equal to 59.99. The result is fail, else it is Pass. Okay. You could close the parenthesis here. That way, 77C is pass. You could um, click on this plus here. Make sure you hover your mouse and get your plus and then double click so that you would be able to get pass or fail. And I want to change my fail to all uppercase as well so that it would be consistent. Do one more time, I get pass or fail. So now I want to apply conditional formatting to see, I mean, you could still see here in the textual thing, but I would like to visually see that in a nice pro, uh, colors. So I'm selecting my column, uh, under home, you could see conditional formatting. Click on that and you can see highlight cell rules. If it is greater than, less than, in between, these are all for numerical values. And you could consider if the text contains, yes, if the text, the result text contains fail, I would like to see that in a light red filled with dark red text. Okay. So, light red background and fill with the dark red text. So which is this I got. And if you consider all the paths to be of green, you could do the same thing, text that contains green, uh, text that contains paths. And here you could select green fill with dark green. Okay, so on, on the condition of pass, I'm seeing it in a green color. On the condition of fail, I'm seeing it in a uh, red color. So this way, one could visually see that it is easy to find how many of them are fail or how many of them are pass, uh, like that, easily. And I'm copying these points for several columns. And I want to do a conditional formatting, highlight the cells of something greater than 50.5, and that should be filled in um, yellow fill with dark yellow text, okay? So how many students got more than 50.5? So these many students got 50.5. So I, I would like just to highlight that. Similarly, you can try less than in between as well. For that, you have to select the column, select values in between, let's say 75 and 100. And I would like to do that, maybe custom format. In the custom format, you could see whether you want an underline of double, of what color you want. Maybe I would like to have green. And do you want to fill with anything? Uh, maybe this. Click OK. OK. So now you would see that it was underlined with the highlighted in yellow color all the values in between 75 and 100. So you could be able to see that visually in a uh, nice way so that you don't have to search if you have good number of uh, records. 
I'm selecting this column and I could be able to see, you could see top 10 items, uh, basically on ranking. I would like to see just top 10 percentage. And again, you could check whatever the colors that you want. I want red borders, just only top 10. One, two, three, four. Top 10 percentage, not top 10, okay? So that way you would be able to uh, see these here. And if you want to cancel the rule, you could say clear rule for the selected cells or for the entire sheet. I'm just removing clearing rules for selected cells. And you could see above average, below average, and you could give the average here. Uh, I mean, average would be automatically calculated. So by above average, filled with all these colors. Okay, so maybe this time would be. We already did this. We already did that too. Light red fill. Okay, so light red fill with black letters. Okay, and uh, you can always uh, clear the rule for the selected cells. And uh, you could see the data bars. That way you could see the bar that it is showing intensity actually gradient um, it, the whole cell considered to be 100 or the highest value of the particular column i mean in this 100 is the highest value and then you will be getting a, a bar graph um, or a bar like this depends on the value of the particular cell and uh, i'm selecting another column and you could be able to see different text colors and all that stuff here and you could apply a rule as well that you want to see cell use all these things with the solid fill you could change the colors if you want and you could apply everything and i am doing the another cell and i want to show you with the color grading okay color gradients so if you notice here you could see red like a traffic signal um, intensity starts uh, all the lowest value from red to uh, highest value to the green so that way you would get a signal that red colors are a little bit uh, uh, more need that they need to improve their uh, grades you could always see that uh, color scaling you know you could have a, a darker color i mean you could have two colors you know multiple colors or you could have same color that start from highest in intensity to the lowest intensity and i'm copying one more time and uh, you could always apply new rule of all the cells format all the cells based in this particular thing you know maybe i'm just changing from my gray color to blue that way it, it's showing this way and you could always apply the data bars also on this. Well, I would like to see that. Plus, in addition, I want to see the colors, you know. So I, I encourage you to look at the colors, combinations, and use that so that it would be pleasant for the eyes to see that. Um, you could manage your rules that for the particular um, selected uh, cell. Or selected text here and if you want to clear the whole rules you could clear for the entire sheet so whenever you have large set of data that you want to highlight some of the important things you could be able to see that very easily to highlight whatever you want to do you may not be using all for your particular data set in order to highlight the values but you might be using a couple of that okay thanks for watching